What's happening? Looks like I'm going for a swim in the gross water. Because when we were motoring through Hell's Gate, I noticed that like, with the amount of amperage that we were applying to the motor and how fast the prop was spinning, it wasn't giving us the kind of speed that we normally get, which means either our hull's getting a little bit dirty or the prop is a little bit dirty. Most likely it's the prop. Although we haven't cleaned either of them in a year since we first painted it last summer back at Just Catamarans. But the hull seems to stay pretty clean, um, just on its own, just from sailing. We haven't actually ever cleaned it in a year. Um, but I think the prop might be kind of gross. So I'm gonna jump in and check it out, but the water's really cold and it's nasty. Putting on the duck suit. <laughs> At least with the duck suit on, the water's not gonna like get underneath and get me all gross. Hull's not too bad. It's uh, it's a little bit slimy. I could probably brush off most of it. Um, I don't feel any barnacles or anything like that. It's all clean. That water is disgusting. It's full of bugs too. But uh, I'm definitely glad we have that ablet of paint. It's a lot easier to clean than the old stuff. I don't have to scrape it all, just like a light, going over it lightly with the brush and all the sort of fuzzy stuff came right off. Um, it was definitely the propeller that was the issue. It had like a, a good layer of barnacles on it. So I scraped all those off and sanded those off and um, hopefully it won't be an issue going forward. But yeah, the, uh, the prop speed seemed to work well for about a year or so. And I guess it's worn off now, so it's back to just being like bare metal. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to rinse. I'm, uh, I'm covered in those little, <laughs> those little bugs. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at all those bugs. That's the real reason I wore them last suit. It wasn't They're, this. What? They're crawling all over the place. Yeah. Ah! That is insane. They're all over your face too. That's disgusting. Maybe we should do this with salt water. So we're not wasting fresh water. Yeah. Because you get the blue thing. Yeah. That's why I wore a wetsuit. I assumed there was gonna be a lot of bugs. The dirtier the water, it seems the more bugs, but. I hate these little things. They get in your hair, they get in your ears, they get in your beard, they get in your nose. They're disgusting. Ready? Well, we're supposed to leave today, but it's blowing one knot, <laughs> one knot. And the forecast for like the rest of the week isn't any better. So <laughs> yeah, I don't really I know mean, what to do. I mean, you have to see this because it's actually quite funny. We're looking at potentially leaving anyway and hoping that the wind will fill up. But <laughs> this is the forecast for the next four days the entire week all the way to Saturday. Like nothing. Less than five knots. <laughs> like <laughs> nothing. Yeah, my theory is that Long Island Sound is super flat and calm. There's not gonna be any swell from the ocean. 
and most of it's downwind. So even if there's like three to five knots of wind, we can still go downwind and just like ghost along at two knots. Cause like, I want to leave. And this weekend the wind fills in up at Boston, up at Cape Cod, and it should be, uh, really good to sail to Halifax, but we need to get there first and it's 150 miles away. So <laughs> the problem is at like, if there's four or five knots of wind, we could actually leave and sail, but it's blowing like 0.2. Like our little Windex thing at the top of the mast, like isn't even spinning around. It's Seven, just like 0.7 right now. Yeah. It's just, just there's, there's no wind. There's no wind. Oh man. I mean, I think if, not, if, if it goes up to five knots, we can leave. But if it's zero knots, we're going to be drifting backwards whenever the that, current shifts. Is the rule? Five knots and we'll leave? Five knots, we'll leave. Okay. Five knots. <laughs> Well, the wind just picked up, so this is our uh, our window to leave. I know these winding roads. I know. Well, we are gonna give it a try. We're gonna try to leave today, even though there's still only like three knots of wind. Um, sailing in light wind is definitely harder than sailing in heavy wind, but on the uh, on Long Island Sound here, it's really flat and calm, so we shouldn't get slowed down by the waves any. So we're gonna give it a try, see how it goes. True wind speed, 2.4, apparent wind speed, 3. Speed over ground, <laughs> 1.5. We are barely moving, but hey, a knot and a half in the right directions, at least we're moving. <laughs> so it looks like there's good wind in three days um, off of Cape Cod and so we have three days to sail about 80 miles so that's not bad that's only that's like less than 30 miles a day which is one knot in the right direction <laughs> that's our theory <laughs> we're in no hurry right <laughs> and the the wind's been the wind's been like two three knots and then it goes up to like five six seven and then back down to two or three so I think once we get out of this little bay we might we might be doing a little bit better than we are now yeah. we'll see that's, that's a theory that there's more wind outside the bay. There usually is. So, There's more fish beyond the reef. A little bit of a trip update we um, we've been averaging about three knots for the past 24 hours so we've only sailed about 60 miles but we're also only about two hours away from sort of the eastern opening of Long Island Sound the northeast opening so it looks like we're gonna make it there at slack tide which is really good because uh, there can be four to five knots of current rushing through there where Long Island Sound drains into the ocean but we should still get there with a little bit of current behind us. Uh, if not, we'll be right at slack tide. Um, otherwise, it could be a pretty uh, slow sail through that section. But the wind this morning filled in a little bit, and we've got about 8 to 10 knots, and we're going downwind, super calm, super chill. And yeah, the wind's supposed to continue to increase throughout today and into tomorrow, and we should have about 36 to 48 hours of really nice downwind sailing uh, all the way to Nova Scotia. Time for the spinnaker to go up. Up it goes.
Well, I think we finally got the wind that we've been expecting. It was forecast to come in and right about six and it's about seven, so it feels really nice to be finally moving quickly and with force through the water. We've got the, uh, the spinnaker still up. We just put the main up, we're on a beam reach and we're about 10 miles away from Block Island, so we're making really good time. Well guys, that's pretty cool. We are currently sailing past Fairhaven, Massachusetts where we bought our boat almost four years ago. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to be sailing past again. We've, we've come a long ways and this boat's come a long ways. And uh, yeah, you can see the, the hurricane barrier and some of the masts at Fairhaven Shipyard. We're only a few miles away. It's, um, it's pretty cool to be back where it all started. Well, we are going through the Cape Cod Canal today, but we have to wait for the incoming tide. So we pulled into an anchorage that's right at the entrance of the channel. Um, it's been a few hours since we've been here, so we're getting ready to lift our anchor and go through the canal. But it's funny because it is really foggy <laughs> right now. It was very sunny when we got here and then suddenly is the fog just came in. So it'll be interesting to go through. We have the current coming with us and the wind coming with us, which means we'll be able to sail most of the way. Um, but if we need to, we'll have the motor like powered on as well, just in case, but it should be a pretty nice run, actually. It's about nine miles from where we're anchored now to the other side. Um, I'm kind of excited, actually. It's gonna be cool. How are you feeling, Captain Kika, with the fog? <laughs> it's uh... The fog! The fog! It's very eerie. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's uh... It kind of like raises our bar a little bit more, right? I think we've watched too much Haven, or any of those shows about... <laughs> <That's true. laughs> about like this part of the world with all the fog and all the spookiness. Check out the sailboat. But this is why we installed radar and AIS for yes. sailing in these exact waters. So we've got radar on and we've got AIS on and we can uh, have a pretty good view of what's going on in the world. It's pretty foggy. It's crazy. Like boats disappear in front of us. <laughs> We're going the exact same speed as this, by the way. Look at that current ripping in. Spooky. It's spooky, yeah. It's 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 like a hunted movie. It's so cool though. Like you can't see anything. It's definitely the thickest fog that we've sailed on with Una. Because Norfolk was foggy but it wasn't you could still see in front of you. We have the main up. Uh, we're dead downwind going through the canal, so so far so good. We're going at six knots. Um, a nice push from the wind and the current. We also have our main prevented yeah. just in case there's some just wind shifts case. yeah because if, if there is a gust you know that from a different direction we don't have to worry about accidentally jiving or if we need to you know quickly turn the motor on and, and just like maneuver around something like a red buoy marker <laughs> for instance <laughs> for instance then we know that the main is not going to just like whip somebody off you know so that that somebody would be me i'm standing in like <laughs> Prime getting hit by the boom real estate here, but I'm about to move. What things we do for the shot? Well, it's not you're not gonna go anywhere because it's the preventer's on. That's true. That sailboat in front of a disappeared. This is though. the this is Captain Kika's view. That's my view. This is through the eyes of Captain Kika. doing seven knots. <laughs> 